This is a simple demonstration to show how the colour of light from a 12 volt bulb varies with temperature. Now in this setup I've got an ammeter and a voltmeter and you'll notice it's 0.43 ohms at room temperature. So as I increase the voltage you'll notice the light colour is going from a reddish colour and it's getting a little bit more yellow as the voltage is increased. So it's shifting towards the blue end of the spectrum so it's becoming more and more white. Uh, you can see the voltage is gradually increasing. I listed the temperature of the filament uh, in Kelvin on the screen. There it is there at white. Now the resistance there is about 4.12 ohms if you work it out, dividing the current by the resistance. Now it's time to plot some of the data we gathered in the video. I've written down the voltage and current readings in these first two columns. And I've calculated the resistance just using uh, R equals V on I. And I've calculated the temperature of the uh, surface of the tungsten filament just by looking at the uh, temperature coefficient of tungsten and working out the uh, approximate temperature. Okay, so at room temperature, it was which is 293 Kelvin roughly, um, the voltage was 0.22 volts, current was 0.51 amps, giving a resistance of 0.3 ohms. Now I've done that for each pair of data all the way down. Now let's have a look to see if it's ohmic. It shouldn't be because uh, it's being heated up, so the resistance you would imagine would increase. So we'll plot V versus I and we'll see what we get. Insert a scatter graph. You can see there it's not linear. Uh, it's got a, a uh, looks like a cube root relationship. So let's have a look at a trend line for that. Now we'll ask for a power trend line. Notice there we'll have a look at the displaying the equation on the chart. Now you can see I'll just make it a little bit bigger so you can see that. I'll put it up to 12 points. Okay, now you can see the relationship is y is equal to 0.8642x times 0.42. Now, if it was a uh, square root relationship, that would be 0.5. So you can see that's the sort of relationship. So it's definitely non-ohmic. Um, it would be a straight line uh, going through the origin if it was ohmic. Okay, let's now have a look at I will get rid of that um, and have a look at how the temperature varies with voltage. So here's the voltage again, and here's the temperature, and we'll plot that again, insert, do a scatter graph, and you can see it's got the same sort of relationship. Now the reason for that is um, resist the, the Kelvin temperature has been worked out from the resistance. Now, we saw the relationship between resistance and voltage before, but resistance and temperature are, are linear, are very in a linear fashion. So you can see it should be the same sort of pattern as we saw before. Let's have a look at the trend line for that. And again, we'll do a power one. And display the equation. And you can see make that a little bit bigger again and you'll see that it's a, a square root relationship 0.5 is the coefficient there so that's the relationship between the, the temperature and the voltage now the other thing I was looking at was the color of the light when we had it turned off obviously it had no color but as we got to the first voltage which was around about um, 0.2 of a volt, you can see it gave a reddish glow and then as I increased the voltage through 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 volts it became more and more white. Now all that was happening is we're adding in more blue, the blue end of the spectrum was being added in so it looked more white. Now that uh, is good confirmation of Wien's displacement law which says that the peak of the graph will shift towards the blue as you increase the temperature and that's exactly what's happened.